couple of years ago, I went to a therapist for the first time. Just a quick midlife check-in. <laughs> Told him my whole life story, the 50-minute version. <laughs> well, ABC television never wrote me back, but uh, it's been 25 years and old Randy still works at the Great American Cookie Factory, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> At the end of the session, he says, I think you should come back. And I was like, I don't, I don't really think I need to unless you want, maybe you, I can do therapy on you. <laughs> then I thought about it and I was like, I do have some stories to work on and he's a bit of a captive audience, so. <laughs> Over the next couple of months, I Told him about every story I could think of. No puppet stories. I wanted to ease him in before I weirded him out. <laughs> told him about who brought the kid and all the times I just felt, you know, like the kid. And he always ended the session the same way. He'd grab his folder, write something down, and then say, time's up. I always wondered, what is he writing in that folder? I feel like sometimes he's like, hmm, Adam's fingers are abnormally large. <laughs> One time he looked at me and he just goes, Adam, you're still trying to find validation from your father. And so you put that on people. And when that doesn't work out, you put it in the projects. And when that doesn't work out, you get your heart broken. And I said, what do you think I should do about it? He goes, what do you think you should do about it? And I realized that's not an answer, but in the moment I was like, that is a good question. <laughs> my, my dad always taught me growing up, he said, never take a problem to your boss without a solution. But if he was alive today, I'd be like, my therapist is making a killing not offering solutions. <laughs>